How you doing? It's me, Frank. You still with us? Good. This next jam is in E minor, E minor 7th. We bring in some chord clusters. The 16th note rhythm, keeping the right hand going. Very important to keep that right hand loose. And in the solo section, we get into guide tones. We work with the 9th uh, guide tones and keeping it melodic. So let's keep it melodic and keep it fun. Here we go. Let's take a listen to this E minor 7 vamp. Nice contemporary style vamp. The drummer's really cooking on this one. And I'm hearing E minor 9s. So let's introduce that chord into the mix. E minor 9 on the downbeats. Again, make sure the notes are clean. Let's hit them one at a time. Just to make sure that chord is clean. Okay, here's your other minor nine that I like, up high on the fingerboard. Now add some basic simple rhythms. What the bass is doing. Try to play along with that. Nice technique I like to use is just to raise the chord up one fret, half a step, and back down. Adds a little tension. Tension and release. Tension, release. Keeps it interesting. And up high. In that jam, we're using the E minor 9 chord. The notes in the E minor 9 chord, you can reference your notation for this, are E, G, B, D, and F sharp, F sharp being the ninth. Now my right hand when I'm playing rhythm is uh, in this case doing 16th notes. My hand's always going. Good exercise is just keep your hand going with the chord. Start slow. Bring the tempo down. Then bring the tempo back up. Sort of like a drum roll when they start with single strokes and they go bop, 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 and they get it up to an insane tempo and back down. It's all about control. It's a great study. While you're doing the 16th notes, you can experiment with your left hand of when to release the strings in order to give it some rhythm. And of course, we do that on the upper inversion too. Again, we don't want to be doing too much or too little. We want to keep in line with the rhythm section. Like in that instance of what I played, I was concentrating on what the bass was doing, which was bam, badant, bam, badant. So I was generally playing along with that bass. Okay, now let's put the track on and we'll play a little more, given those thoughts. Here we go. One, two, three, four. <laughs> No 
notice my hands always moving. It helps me keep in time with the rhythm. And up high. Now let's move on to the next segment, get a little more involved with the E minor 9 chord. 